Welcome to the last lesson for the Scratch Quiz Blast Off game. And in this lesson, we will be making the rocket ship actually fly up in space. So first, what we need to do is make sure that the spaceship is our active object by clicking on it down at the bottom where all the sprites are. Next, go to Control and grab the Forever Loop. Place it underneath your save blocks. This is because what we're going to be doing is checking all the time throughout the entire game if the spaceship is touching the fire. Once it's touching the fire, we then want to repeat and the repeat repeatedly make the spaceship fly upward until it touches the edge, and then we want to hide. It. So to do this, we have this forever loop, and then we go into still inside control, we grab an if then block and place it inside. Since we are checking if we are touching the fire, we want to go to sensing and grab the very first block that says touching mouse pointer. Place that inside the hexagon. Then click on the black down arrow and choose fire. Once you've chosen the fire, go back to control and grab the repeat until block. This is because we will, as I said before, be repeatedly moving our spaceship upwards until it touches the edge. To check if we're touching the edge, we go to sensing and grab the touching mouse pointer block again and place this inside the hexagon of the repeat until block. Click on the down arrow and this time choose edge. Now, when we're in here, we want to change the Y value by a certain amount so our, our spaceship moves up. Since the stage you in Scratch uses the coordinate plane where 0, 0 is in the center and the vertical axis is the Y axis, the horizontal axis is the X axis, for us to move up, we want to change Y by a positive number. So let's go to motion and grab the block that says change Y by 10. Place it inside the repeat until block. Now when you run your code, try and get as many answers correct as possible so that you can see it blast off. Now you saw how fast that moves? We actually don't want to use a number that's larger than 10, but if you want to make it move slower, you can use a smaller number. If you make it a larger number, then the quiz could possibly be going on forever because the fire will still think it's not touching the spaceship and will keep asking questions. Once our spaceship is on the edge like this, we want it to hide. So after this repeat until block, we're going to put a hide block, which we can find in looks. Go to looks and pull out the hide block and place it right underneath repeat until. Now when you run it, you will see that after it blasts off, it'll touch the edge and disappear. 